In this video, we'll go over the homework that follows the lecture introducing the power series. And as always, I hope that you watched the lecture. And let's go ahead and jump right into the homework. And here's the first problem asking us to determine whether a given series or, or rather whether a given uh, construction here is a power series. And to answer that question, we are going to uh, check whether this series uh, satisfies this pattern. So we must have some coefficient and x, possibly x minus c, raised to some power n. And it is okay for us to have uh, something of this type as a power that just means we are going to be missing some of the powers which is totally fine and in this case uh, what we have can be rewritten like this so our nth coefficient is um, the reciprocal of 2n plus 5 factorial and we have x to the power 11n plus 7 so the answer is yes this is a power series. All right, next question. We have to express uh, the following function as a power series uh, centered at zero. And the only tool we have is the following identity so we know that 1 over 1 minus x is equal to um, this uh, when absolute value of x is less than 1 so this is our fundamental identity of power series and <coughs> to convert what's given uh, into or rather to find a power series representing this given function we're going to have to manipulate the left hand side of this identity and turn it into this somehow and <clears throat> The way, and, and there are a couple ways of doing this. Uh, one way is we can um, kind of start with this identity and just keep adding to it until we end up with a given function. Or we can start with a given function and just manipulate it. Um, so we can take out uh, 11 fifth. So when you do that, you have this. And it is also worth noticing that this identity is true for not just x, but for anything. So if you make your star to be equal to negative 2 fifths x9, then this is now a star and we can use this identity and rewrite what's inside of the parentheses as a sum and it's going to be whatever the star is so it's negative 2 fifths x to the power 9 all to the power n and now we just have to uh, simplify this so we're going to do two things here. We're going to distribute the n. So we have negative 2 to the power. And here we actually can separate the sign. So we have negative 1 to the power n. We have 2 to the power n. We have 5 to the power n. And we have x to the power 9n. And now we're going to bring the negative inside so we're going to have n plus 1 we're going to bring 11 inside 
um, and we're going to bring the 5 inside. So that's the answer. So to enter it, I'm just going to carefully type that. <clears throat> so we have, um, we're going to have a fraction, we have x to the power 9n, and here we have 5 to the power n plus 1, and here we have negative 1 to the power n plus 1, times 2 to the power n, and times 11. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, the, the, the I don't know where uh, this negative came from. So this should be positive, right? Because negative is part of the pattern. So um, what we have here is just our star. So this should be positive. So we don't have negative here at all. We just have two to the power n, <coughs> and then we have negative 11 in front of it so this is the power series so let's remove the this negative we just have negative 11 times that and that's the correct answer All right, let's go to the next problem. Um, we have a similar problem. So we're going to start manipulating it right away. And this time we actually have to center it at four. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create that pattern <coughs> um, um, on the left side of this identity uh, and to make it centered at 4 we just have to make sure that the star would be x minus 4 to some power, right? So x minus 4 has to be part of this um, pattern. So here's how we're going to achieve that. We're not going to worry about <coughs> the coefficients yet, but I am going to throw negative 4 in there. Now, we cannot just put negative 4 next to x. We have to... Um, compensate for that and to compensate we really have to understand that we're not putting negative 4 we're actually subtracting 28 so to compensate i would have to add 28 uh, in the denominator so now if you distribute everything over you're going to end up with exactly the same um, expression so we have 4 and now i'm going to start creating this pattern we have 4 <coughs> negative 4 plus 28 is 24 uh, plus 7 x minus 4 now I'm going to take 4 over 24 out we have 1 over 1 plus but instead of plus I'm going to write minus negative 7 over 24 x minus 4 now if you distribute everything you'll end up with exactly the same expression but what's the advantage of having it written this way is that now i can choose my star to be uh, negative 7 over 24 x minus 4 and then I can plug everything in and we're going to end up with the sum and goes from 0 to infinity 
negative 7 over 24 x minus 4 all that to the power n now to simplify this I'm actually going to make some things a little smaller so I can fit the solution on one page and what do we have here we have negative 1 to the power n we have 7 to the power n we have x minus 4 to the power n which makes it a power series centered at 4 and we have 24 to the power n but then we're going to bring this extra 24 inside so we have 24 to the power n plus 1 and we have this 4 which we can also bring inside and now this is the answer so let's go ahead and enter it to another problem we have to determine whether the series below is a power series and to determine whether it is a power series means to determine whether it fits a certain pattern and the pattern is this and it seems like it does match this pattern so yes it is a power series and here you may notice that n starts from 1 instead of uh, 0 which is totally fine that just means that when n is equal to 0 uh, well this whole coefficient is equal to 0 and you can see that this formula doesn't work for n equals 0 All right, another problem. We have seen something like this before. So we're centering it at zero. We need to recognize that pattern. So I'm going to take out x to the sixth from the numerator and negative two from the denominator. So now we have 1 over, and I'm going to swap this to, so it's going to be 1 minus 9 halves x to the power 5. So this now will be equal to negative x to the power 6 over 2 times, now I'm going to use the identity, and this is what we will have to raise to the power n. And now I'm going to do two things at once. First, I'm going to move negative x to the 6 over 2 inside of the series. And then I'm going to distribute the power over the product. So we have negative 1 to the power n, 9 to the power n, 2 to the power n, x to the power 5n. Simplifying everything. will give us this. We have negative 1 to the power n plus 1. In the denominator we have 2 to the power n plus 1. In the numerator we have 9 to the n and we have x to the power 5n plus 6.
did I do it again? Yes, I did it again. So, <laughs> negative is part of the pattern. So, there is no negative here. I apologize. So, that means we don't have this over here. And we don't have this. We just have one negative. And that's it. So, let's remove this whole negative. Like this. This would be the answer. Right, so try not to make that mistake. All right, so... Um, seeing such a problem for the second time means we can move a little faster. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce that x minus 2 as a part of the expression. But I can't just add minus 2 to the x. I have to compensate for that and this together with this being negative 14 means I have to add 14 and now we're going to simplify this we have negative 9 over I'm going to change the order 16 plus 7 times x minus 2 I'm going to factor out negative 9 16 so we have 1 over 1 plus 7 over 16 x minus 2 and now this is when I'm going to separate that plus into two minuses and use the identity and rewrite this uh, fraction as the series. So we're going, I'm going to do two things here. I'm going to distribute the exponent and I'm going to bring the coefficient inside. And I'm ready to write my answer. We're going to have negative 1 to the power n plus 1, 9 times 7 to the power n, 16 to the power n plus 1, x minus 2 to the power n. That's the answer. Question number seven, we are asked to identify a power series or whether this construction is a power series and, and to be a power series we have to have x potentially minus some coefficient or minus some value raised to some power and with some coefficient not depending on x in the front and here we see that this depends on x rather n so this is not a power series and 
I think it's pretty fair to say that I'm not even going to create a whole new problem for this, but you can clearly see that this is also not a power series either, right? Because of this depending on X. And that's it. If you have any questions about this homework, uh, please let me know.